just a quick video on the Easy Flash Parallel. Uh, basically, just setting it up because my buddy was complaining that while he was using this Ace 3DX in a new 3DS XL, he would occasionally bump the SD card and make the game freeze. So this should have the SD card flush, and that's what we want. So I picked this off off AliExpress during one of the choices sales for like thirteen dollars. Uh, I found one that was eleven dollars, but I didn't have the money at the time, so I didn't pick it up. Oh well, ten dollars not a bad deal, especially since, like I said, SD card is flush. So this one's dead, just using it as a placeholder. Instead, we're just going to put a 32 gigabyte card in it because I don't have any 64 gigabyte ones. Alright, so first things first. Go ahead and cut this open. So if you cut just underneath the Samsung logo, should. Not cut any of the plastic, and you just slide it right out. Right, and then <clears throat> I bought this directly from Samsung, but if you bought this from like Amazon or something, I would recommend you run H2 Test W on it. This one I bought directly from Samsung.com, so should be good. Should. Let's plug it in and make sure it's actually detected. It is. Alright, so basically head over to Easy Flash's website. Go to download. And then you want to click Easy Flash Parallel. And then you have the user manual right here. Which if you want to check out, I recommend. And then you have the kernel itself. Where you've opened the zip file, you'll just want to go ahead and drag the contents into the root of the SD card. And then we want to load up with ROMs, but I want to check it out first in the DS. So we've got a DS right here. It's playing white too. Um, let's put the SD card into this little guy. So it just slides in, it's not spring loaded. Oh, that's not good. It's not being red. There we go. I don't know, I don't know what game that is. But it does appear as a fake. And, oh, there we go. Easy flash. Well, Hey, this looks like wood. Yeah, it's just a modified version of wood. Like, modified? I don't even know it's modified. Alright, let's go ahead and load this up with some games and see if it works. So I went ahead and replaced the old user cheat that was created in 2018 with the latest one from uh, Dead Schools Jr. And then I went ahead and dropped in Black 2, Y2, Conquest, and also a little Phoenix Wright games, because why not? Alright. Now let's throw this in the DS. Clock. Universal sleep? What is that? I don't know what that means. And oh, hmm. I think that's for the GB. Alright, 
Dusty card. All right. All the fiends, right? All right. Let's try conquest. Processing. Supposed to take that one. I don't remember taking that long. Can I see if sleep works? Might work. I think it does. Alright, and then... How do you go back? L-R-A-B down. Oh, I see. Okay, that's weird. It's taking an extremely long amount of time. I might even enable the anti-piracy patch. Does it also? Oh wow, does it turn off? Or it doesn't even go to sleep. That's weird. So I guess you do have to enable the anti-piracy thing. So I I don't think they've bypassed it yet. So any game that has the anti-piracy features, you know, just is a no-go. You'll need to use the action replay codes to get around it. Final game. Let's try Ace Attorney. I'll test if the other things work off screen, but I'm pretty sure they will. Here I want to test the save file. into the menu and then we're going to load back in Phoenix right see if it still has a save file and then we're going to try sleeping oh it does all right right all right cool oh wait i forgot to test if it sleep modes pretty sure it will I thought they fixed this. Did they not? Huh. Wow. Okay. Uh, that was 1.0.6. They still haven't fixed it? Dang. Or just 1.06. Well, that's what happens when you're an early adopter. Uh, I'm just waiting until that gets fixed, I guess. But hey, my friend who constantly bumps into the SD card will be very happy this exists. Also, mine came with scratches on it, like, like the really light, yeah, that you kind of see swirls around with the light. Yeah, I, it came out the box like that, I, I don't know, maybe QC scratch a little bit, uh, alright. That was setting up an easy flash parallel. Uh, I don't 
recommend it right now. But if you can find it for like 10 bucks, 15 bucks, like a price between there, because $10 is a good card. I feel like just a few updates later, it'll probably be about the same to, uh, I don't know, it's, it's 30 ads. But in its current iteration, uh, I'd give it, I'd wait. Especially if they're asking like 20, 30 bucks for it, it's not worth it, that price. $10, $13, $15, okay, maybe, but. Not 30. Alright. Peace.